Yo, what's Hola. going on? Mwah. Take this some more here. Happy great day. And today, your daddy is fuchi, fuchi, fuchi here. Mucho. Yes, guys. Yes. Okay, I'm going to take it over now. I'm going to explain, all right? So the other day, I went to court, okay? I had to pay a ticket for when I went to the Amityville Horror House, and I wore this really nice dress shirt, and after I got home, my armpits were smelling. I was like, Ginette, does this smell? She was like, Kiyuta, Fuchi, Fuchi. I was like, what's the problem? She's like, you need lemon. Which is in, in Mexican or in Spanish, lemon means lime. She said that I need to take a lime, cut it up, and apparently, if you take this and squeeze the juices on your armpits, and you do it every single day for a week, yeah. That your armpits aren't gonna sweat or smell anymore. I don't know what to think about that. Uh, I think. Yes, it's, it's very good. It, this is the best. ¿Cómo se dice desodorant? Deodorant. Yes, the best because it's natural and you are see and every day no. ¿Cómo se dice? Smell. Smell disgusting. And también, ¿cómo se dice bacteria? Bacteria. Y and fungus. Yes, it's elimination. Is elimination. Elimination. I eliminate <laughs> the fungus and the bacteria. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm, I'm trusting her on this one, but I don't know what's gonna happen. We're, we're gonna find out. out. You really? Yeah, let's do it. Here, take this knife right here. Be careful. Very careful, please. Very careful, please. No woman, dog. And that's it? Mmm, I love it. That's it? Yes. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> you! You sure about this? Go ahead. You guys! Oh, come on, let's just get this over with. Just put it on me. Ooh. It doesn't hurt. It, it feels weird good. though. <laughs> it feels weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's mucho out, it's okay, you. It doesn't hurt. It's okay. No. You have bacteria. No, it's not mucho out, it's just tickles. It's close I'm oh, serious. It's <laughs> what? She made, it looks like I'm sweating now because of this, guys. Ew, you. Right, how much? Pushing. How much? Mucho. It tickles. <laughs> okay, one more. Go. Yeah. Oh, relax. Come on, I'm your boyfriend. Fine. <laughs> it tickles. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I kicked Mimi. Yeah. All right, finished. No. Come on, you know, are you serious? It's not that bad. I just showered. Uh, no, it's every night. Dude. You do this every night. Yes. Yeah, no, you don't. We no, don't have lines in the house. You're a liar. Go. It's free. Okay, that's enough. Perfect. Thank Perfect, you. guys. No more fuchi. All right. All right. So if you guys are really mad at me right now for not wearing a shirt during this Call of Duty video, it's not my fault. Yannette said that because I have this lime juice soaking in, I can't put a shirt on. I gotta let this dissolve before we go out tonight. We're going to see Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, and I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I've seen every Harry Potter movie like at least five or ten times over. Like one summer, I literally watched them all like three times in a row. So apparently putting limes under your armpits for a week straight is gonna stop you from sweating. That's what she said to me. I'm gonna try it. I think it sounds crazy, but I'm gonna try this and I'm gonna let you guys know because I know there's a lot of you guys out there who are probably in my shoes who sweat a lot. Like I, I can't be the only one. Like I know some of you guys might have sweaty feet or a sweaty back. For me personally, it's always been my armpits ever since I was a little kid. Like I always remember my armpits sweating so much. And I know this is gonna be one of my more weird videos. I don't think I've ever done something like this before, but it's different. And you know what, if it helps any of you guys out out there at home, if you guys have armpit problems like me and maybe this does work, then hey, at least I'm helping somebody out here. That's my motto, face sensor, inspirator, inspirator, bleh, bleh. Wanna be douchebag that tries to inspire people by not wearing a shirt while he makes a Call of Duty video and help people out there with sweaty armpits. That's me, all right, baby, let's get it. You know, I haven't been talking about this a lot, but actually tomorrow morning or like tomorrow afternoon, oh, I can't turn on that kid. What am I doing? I'm not focusing. Tomorrow afternoon, guys, at like two o'clock, I'm actually gonna be getting LASIK eye surgery and I haven't been talking about that at all. I think I mentioned it in like one vlog about a month ago, but but for the past two and a half weeks, I literally been wearing these glasses every single day. And it, it's a bummer because, you know, every day I go to the gym and I work out and I try to really push myself every single day in the gym. And I'll start sweating and these things fall off. So like every two seconds, I'm going like this. 
I'm going like this. Every two seconds. I can't do anything. Like I, I can't even talk about what I want to say, but there's a lot of situations in my life when these glasses really get annoying for me. But it's definitely going to be worth it. If you guys aren't familiar with LASIK surgery, it's basically when they take a laser and they shave off a piece of your cornea in your eye so that you can get 20-20 vision or as close to 20-20 vision as possible. I'm a good candidate for it. I have thick corneas, which means they could shave off a lot of my uh, corneas and my eyes could be good. Hopefully, fingers crossed. If you guys could leave a like on this video to wish me some good luck, I'm gonna go through the comments and stuff and reply to a couple of you guys. It really means a lot to me. I've been thinking about getting LASIK for a very long time and I've wanted to do it for my entire life and now that I'm in the position where I could, one, afford it because it's an expensive surgery, but two, you have to wait till your eyes stabilize. So what I mean by that is like every year or so, you should do like an eye examination and if your eyes are going lower in prescription, you should not get the LASIK. And my eyes have been stable for a year and a half now, which means Hopefully, my eyes aren't gonna get worse, and if I get the LASIK, my eyesight won't go down. Between that and this new movie coming out tonight, I am just beyond excited. Like, the new Harry Potter movie, it's not even the new Harry Potter movie, but Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. It's made by J.K. Rowling, and I cannot wait to see that movie. You guys already know that about me. I love going to the movies. I watch movies, like, at least once a week I'll go, and I can't, I can't find anybody right now. There's gotta be somebody popping up on my screen soon. Where are these dudes at? There's no one on that second story. Where are, oh, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, there's a guy up here. Oh, what? I can feel my armpits like literally starting to sweat again from just playing Call of Duty. Like that's how bad I have it, guys. And it's it's something I've always thought about, like even getting a surgery to fix. I even talked to somebody from MLG, and he actually got surgery to fix his armpits because it will make him stop sweating completely. But the sweat's gonna come out somewhere else in your body. So you know what? I said screw it. I'm just gonna own up to it, and I'm just gonna live with it because I don't want sweat coming out of like my ass crack or something. Now I'm not about that swamp ass life. I used to get super embarrassed about sweating in high school. Like when I was a freshman and a sophomore, you used to have to wear white polos to school every day so if I'm wearing a white polo the sweat's gonna show really bad and then when we were juniors and seniors we had blue polos which helped a lot of my sweating and well it didn't really help it still sweated a lot but nobody was able to see it as clear even to this day I still have the problem like I just said I went out to a courthouse and it was like 40 degrees outside and my armpits were just sweating and I can't control it I don't know why they do that and there's nothing I could do unless I got surgery and I'm not gonna do that it seems like it wouldn't make any sense it could be like the middle of February during new it could be like Christmas time with snow coming outside and the coldest weather ever and my armpits will still be sweating like they could be used This is gonna sound so cheesy. My armpits could be freaking used as like an insulator for heat like they always sweat And I'm not even joking. I'm not even trying to promote anyone here But that's why I wear so many Gymshark shirts because you can't see the sweat and it absorbs it really well So it doesn't smell as bad. That's why I'm always wearing Gymshark I swear to God not only because I'm sponsored by them not only because it's comfortable Wow, this is such a good-ass plug but I wear it so much because it stops with the sweat. Like if my armpits didn't sweat as much, I'd be wearing other shirts more. I promise you guys that. I'm gonna end this video on that note. It's almost eight o'clock and I'm gonna be leaving like less than an hour. So I have about an hour to edit this and put it up. Thank you guys for all the support. I've been posting a lot more pictures on my Instagram. I'm trying to get more fitness pictures out there because I've been really killing myself on a diet. Like I'm gonna show you guys really quick. I'm not even trying to like brag or anything, but I've been really freaking like dieting, doing cardio, everything. I've been going so hard in the gym and I'm trying to be in the best shape I could possibly be in. Maybe even do a physique competition one day. I have no idea. But the only thing I know is that I love working out. I love reaching out to you guys. I love trying to inspire you guys, seriously. And thank you guys so much for watching all my videos. Thank you guys for all the support on my YouTube channel and everything that I do. It means so much to me. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Wish me luck for my surgery tomorrow. I'm really excited about it. Comment down below what you guys think. I'll let you guys know in about a week or so what happens with this lime on my armpits. And I hope you guys all have a great day. It's been your boy Doug Sensor Martin, and I'm out, guys. Peace.